Today we'll see quadratic equations, case study based questions, part 2. Already we have done two questions in part 1. Now this is the third one. A quadratic equation can be defined as an equation of degree 2. This means that the highest exponent of the polynomial in it is 2. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c which is equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers. Now try to understand here. a, b, c are the coefficients. Okay. And they are real numbers. And a is not equal to 0. This a should not be equal to 0. Otherwise it will no more a quadratic equation. Every quadratic equation has two roots depending on the nature of its discriminant. d, it means that b square minus 4ac. This d will decide ki which type of roots the quadratic equation have. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. Which of the following quadratic equation have no real roots? If roots are not real, it means that the value of d is less than 0. The meaning is d is negative. So as soon as you see d is negative, see that equation doesn't have the real roots. Okay. Now I will check for the first one here. Here d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac. In the first equation b, b is 7. So 7 square minus 4 value of a is minus 4 and c is also minus 4. So which is equal to 49. This minus and this minus will become plus. Okay. And this negative sign as it is. 4 4s are 16 and 16 4s are 64 and subtraction comes as minus 15 which is less than 0. Right? It means that this option 1 is the correct one. This equation it doesn't have real roots. So option A is the correct one. Come to the second one. Which of the following quadratic equation have rational roots? If you want rational roots, it means that d should be greater than 0 and d should be a perfect square. A perfect square. If these two qualities will be there, then you can say that equation has the rational roots. So let us try first one you see. Here d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac which is equal to value of b is 1 in the first equation, 1 square minus 4, value of a is 1 and c is minus 1, which comes as 1 minus minus plus. So I get it here, 5. 5 is greater than 0, but it is not a perfect square. So this option will not do. I will go for the second one. See here, in the second case, d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac, which is equal to. Now here in the second case see b is equal to minus 5. So minus 5 square minus 4. Value of a is 1 and c is 6. So it is 25 minus 24 which comes as 1. 1 is greater than 0 and 1 is a perfect square. Now both the qualities are there. Here it means that this option B has rational roots. Have you understood? I said D should be greater than 0 and D should be a perfect square. 1 is a perfect square and it is greater than 0 also. Therefore, option B is the correct one. No need to check the other options. Question number 3. Which of the following quadratic equation have irrational roots? Now they are saying irrational roots that means in the root root sign supposed to be there, then only irrational number will be there. Suppose I am saying root 3, this is the irrational number. That means our d should be greater than 0 and d should not be a perfect square. If it is perfect square, this root sign will not be there. So two qualities should be there. What? d should be greater than 0 and it should not be a perfect square. I will just write here. d should be greater than 0 and d should be or uh, d should not 
be a perfect square okay so first one i'll try here d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac so let us write b value of b is 2 square minus 4 a is 3 this is 2 here 4 minus 8 3 is 24 i get minus 20 so this is less than 0 so this option is not possible second i will try second one once again d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac so in the second case b is what minus 7 so minus 7 square minus 4 a and this is c so which comes as 49 minus 4 4 are 16 and 16 4 are 48 which is equal to 1 1 is greater than 0 but it is perfect square but we want what not a perfect square this should not be a perfect square so this option is also not valid i'll go for the other one see here third one i'll go third one once again here d which is equal to b square in the third case b is what minus 3 minus 3 square minus 4 times a and this one is minus 5 be careful about the sign now just check this one this is 9 minus 4 6 are 6 24 24 and 5 it is 1 20 and this minus and minus became plus so it is 129 see 129 is greater than 0 and on the top of that 129 is not a perfect square it means that your roots will be irrational correct both the qualities are there it is positive also and it is not a perfect square also so that both the roots which you will get they will be the irrational roots fine so option c is the correct one see option c is correct one so i will not go for the fourth one fourth question which of the following quadratic equations have equal roots equal roots it means that d should be equal to zero and that's all so your both the roots will be equal check the first one now first one d which is equal to b square b square is what minus 3 square minus 4 a and c which is equal to this is 9 4 4 is 16 minus 7 which is not correct second one d which is equal to once again b square minus 4 a is 2 c is 1 so here 4 minus 8 once again i get minus 4 which is not correct third one d which is equal to minus 10 square minus 4 a and this is c so here 100 minus 20 which comes as 80 this is also not correct so definitely option 4 will be there d will be there right but let us check d which is equal to 6 square minus 4 a and c 6 square is 36 and 4 nines are 36 we got answer 0 so in this case our d is equal to 0 discriminant is 0 right so option d is the correct one come to question number 5 which of the following quadratic equations has two distinct real roots two distinct real roots that means the condition is only d should be greater than 0 and that's all nothing more so let's try first one here d which is equal to b square minus 4 ac which is equal to 3 square minus 4 a and this is c this one is 3 square 9 minus 4 which comes as 5 right so if 5 is there this is greater than 0 it means that our roots will be distinct and real two different roots that's all fine so option a is the correct one so no need to check the other options right 
fourth case study based question a hill station in the last summer i enjoyed a tour to a hill station at shimla i was accompanied by my five friends and enjoyed the natural beauties of mountains rivers streams forest etc the beginning of the tour was the most adventurous itself how amazingly my group win the bet actually the story is that my two friends along with me preferred train to go to shimla but the other three were forcing for a car or a bus at the last the consensus was reached and we were divided ourselves in two groups of three each and started for shimla at the same time it was decided that the group who reached the destination first would be declared as the winner and runner up the group how to bear the expenses of the tour i named my group as group a while the second group was named as group b luckily we reached shimla 1 hour before the group b and enjoyed the trip for absolutely free how thrilling was the tour refer to group a now depending on that one first question an express train takes 1 hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 km between delhi and shimla without taking into consideration the time they stop at intermediate stations if the average speed of the express train is 11 km per hour more than that of the passenger train the average speed of the two trains will be now we need to find out average train of both the trains i don't know the speed of the passenger train so let us consider speed of the passenger train be x km per hour so express train speed will become what x plus 11 km per hour so before solving this one you should know the formula as time which is equal to distance by speed okay now this is the passenger train and this one is the express train i will name so for the passenger train train time required is distance distance is what 132 km and speed is x km per hour for the express train the time is distance is same but the speed was what x plus 11 now express train will reach little earlier it means that it will require less time this is less time and passenger train will require more time this is more time it means that more time minus less time what is the difference of time 1 hour right so here i'll write down t1 minus t2 which is equal to 1 hour 132 by x minus 132 by x plus 11 which is equal to 1 i will take 132 common see so 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 11 which is equal to 1 now i will do the lcm of this how to do the lcm very simple this x plus 11 into 1 minus x into 1 and at the denominator product of this 2 this way we will do the lcm so it is x plus 11 minus x divided by x into x plus 11 which is equal to 1 by 132 now this x and x will get cancelled this product is x square plus 11x now after making the product i multiply this one with 1 so i am getting this right which is equal to 132 into 11 the product comes as 1452 i'll bring it here x square plus 11x minus 1452 which is equal to 0 now product of two numbers is minus 1452 and sum is 11 i need to get two numbers if i am not getting what i will do i will write down the prime factors of this 1452 and then i will get two numbers whose product is this one okay now those numbers are 44 minus 33 see subtraction is 11 and product is minus 1452 
So looking at these two numbers, directly we can write down the factors. x plus 44 and here x minus 33. Now just look at these two factors here. Okay. So if I compare these two factors with 0, definitely this answer is positive and this answer is negative and negative answer is invalid. Right. So my value of x comes as what? 33. So the speed of the passenger train is what? 33 km per hour. And for the express train, it is what? X plus 11. That means 33 plus 11, which comes as 44. So, for the express train, the speed is 44 km per hour. Now, just see the option now. First option is the correct one. 33 and 44 km per hour speed of both the trains. Right? Come to the second question. An express train makes a run of 240 km at a certain speed. Another train whose speed is 12 km per hour less takes an hour longer to make the same trip. The speed of the express train will be. So once again speed of the express train we don't know. We will consider it as x. So I am writing here express train e for express train and the another train. Okay. So the other train. So once again Time required is distance divided by the speed. For the another train, distance divided by. Now for the another train, what they said? Speed is 12 km per hour less than that of the express train. That means x minus 12. Now this train, the speed is less. So it will require more time. And this one will require less time right it means that more time minus less time which is equal to one hour now here i'll substitute 240 divided by x minus 12 minus 240 divided by x which is equal to 1 240 will take common 240 is here and inside the bracket x 1 by x minus 12 minus 1 by x which is equal to 1. Now I will do the LCM. x minus x minus 12. Whenever negative sign be careful. So x minus 12 and here x which is equal to 1 by 240. Now open the bracket. x minus minus x minus minus plus 12. See this negative and this negative will become positive. Okay. Now at the denominator, x square minus 12x, which is equal to 1 by 240. This plus x minus x got cancelled. Now this one into 1 is nothing but x square minus 12x, which is equal to 12 into 240. 12 into 240, it means that 2880, the product. Now I will bring this number this side x square minus 12 x minus 2880 which is equal to 0. Now see product supposed to be this one minus 2880 is supposed to be the product and sum supposed to be minus 12. Two numbers what I said once again I will write down the prime factors of this one and then I will get two numbers. As I do so I get two numbers as minus 60 plus 48. So subtraction is minus 12 and the product is this one. Right. So my factors will be what? x minus 60 and another one is x plus 48 which is equal to 0. See looking at this one immediately you can write down the factors. So this answer if I compare with 0 here I get x equal to what? 60 and here I get x equal to what? Minus 48. Speed will not be negative so this is invalid. Which is the correct one then? 60 is the correct one. So speed of the express train is what? 60. Let us check the answer. See, once again we are getting option A as the correct one. 60 km per hour speed of the express train. Right? Come to the next question. A journey of 192 km from Delhi to Shimla takes 2 hours less by a super fast train than by an ordinary passenger train. That means one is the super fast train 
you can say express train another is the passenger train if the average speed of the slower train is 16 km per hour less than that of the faster train average speed of the super fast train is so once again i am writing here this is the express train this is the passenger train speed of the express train we don't know so let us consider it as x so time taken i'll say t1 distance is 192 divided by x for the passenger train 192 divided by now what they said 16 km per hour less than that of the faster train so x minus 16 passenger train requires more time right an express train requires less time so here more time that means t2 minus t1 which is equal to 2 hours they said so which is equal to 2 i will just substitute the values now 192 by x minus 16 minus 192 by x which is equal to 2 now 192 will take common here 192 is out 1 by x minus 16 minus 1 by x which is equal to 2 now once again i will do the lcm x minus x minus 16 at the denominator x minus 16 into x which is equal to 2 by 192 right i will open the bracket now as i open the bracket x x minus x plus 16 at the denominator x square minus 16x i multiplied which is equal to 2 ones are 2 nines are and 2 sixes are 1 by 96 this minus 6 plus 6 got cancelled now this one into 1 is nothing but x square minus 16x which is equal to 16 into 96 16 into 96 it will come as 1536 1536 it will come this side now x square minus 16x minus 1536 which is equal to 0 now once again the product supposed to be minus 1536 and sum should be minus 16 two numbers we need so two numbers are minus 48 plus 32 see the addition comes as minus 16 and the product will come as this one so our factors are what x minus 48 and x plus 32 which is equal to 0 after comparing this both the brackets with 0 i'll get x which is equal to 48 positive answer and here x which is equal to minus 32 so this is not the speed because it is negative right so this is the right answer 48 let us check it here speed of the this super fast train is what 48 km per hour that means option d is the correct one right this option option b 48 km per hour refer to group b a deluxe bus takes 3 hours less than a ordinary bus for a journey of 600 km now they said deluxe bus and this is ordinary bus uh if the speed of the ordinary bus is 10 km per hour less than that of the deluxe bus the speed of the two buses will be we don't know the speed of the deluxe deluxe bus so we'll consider it as x so here time taken by this bus which is equal to 600 by x and time taken by ordinary bus which is equal to 600 and its speed was less by 10 km per hour than the deluxe bus okay so x minus 10 so ordinary bus takes more time and this bus takes less time right so i will try t2 minus t1 which is equal to how many hours 3 hours okay So here I just substitute the values. Six hundred 
by x minus 10 minus 600 by x which is equal to 3. We will take 600 common. So 600 is out inside the bracket 1 by x minus 10 minus 1 by x which is equal to 3. I will do the LCM now. x minus in the bracket x minus 10 at the denominator x minus 10 into x which is equal to 3 by 600. Now see here I will just open the bracket x minus x plus 10 divided by x square minus 10x which is equal to 3 ones are 3 twos are so it is 1 by 200 and this minus x plus x got cancelled. Now this one into this one it comes as x square minus 10x which is equal to 200 into 10 2000 here. So x square minus 10x minus 2000 which is equal to 0. Now see product supposed to be 2000 minus 2000 here and sum supposed to be minus 10. Two numbers. Two numbers are what? 50 minus 50 plus 40. Right? Sum is minus 10 and product is minus 2000. So two factors are what? x minus 50 and here x plus 40 which is equal to 0. So x which is equal to 50 and 1 is x which is equal to minus 40. So negative answer invalid. So x equal to what? 50. See here. Speed of the deluxe bus. 50 they said. It means that here is 50. And speed of the ordinary bus is what? 10 less than that. That means 40 km per hour. So our answer is option C is the correct one. Question number 5. A bus travels a distance of 300 km at a uniform speed. If the speed of the bus is increased by 5 km per hour, the journey would have taken 2 hours less. The original speed of the bus will be. So only one bus is there. In the starting, some speed was there. Let us consider that as x. And later on, speed is increased. Okay. So here I will say t1 which is equal to this is the distance and this is the speed. Later on, as the speed is increased, time taken is 300 by here x plus 5. Okay. Now, this one, as the speed is increased, this time will be less and this time is more. Right. So, more time minus less time which is equal to what they said? How many hours? 2 hours less. 2 hours. So, which is equal to what? 2 I will write down. This is 2. Now, I will just substitute the values. 300 by x minus 300 by x plus 5 which is equal to 2. Now, I will just take 300 as common. 300 is common. Here 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 5 which is equal to 2. I will do the LCM now. x plus 5 minus x divided by x into x plus 5 which is equal to 2 by 300. Right? Now we will just do the cancellation. This minus x plus x. Cancel. 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 5s are 0. Now this one I will multiply here. This one and this one. That is nothing but x square plus 5x which is equal to 150 into 5 which comes as 750. Now see here x square plus 5x minus 750 which is equal to 0. Right? Now product is minus 750 and sum is plus 5. I'll, let me write down. Minus 750 is the product and sum is plus 5. Two numbers 30 and minus 25. 
the product is minus 750 and sum is plus 5. Right? So directly I can write down x plus 30 and here x minus 25 which is equal to 0. So here x plus 30 if I equate with 0 I get minus 30 and here x which is equal to 25 this is the positive answer. So speed of the train, uh, bus is 25 km per hour. Let us check our answer. So the speed of the bus is 25 km per hour. This one. Right? So in this way we are able to solve these speed distance time questions.